Welcome to the Faith Playbook, where holiness meets the gridiron. I'm Brother John Therese, and today we'll be talking about mortification. The physical contact in football is hard on the mind and body. As we play the game, we tend to break down on many levels because of the fatigue. To overcome this, a player will mortify himself by means of strength and conditioning exercises. We practice mortification not to torture ourselves, but to grow in our endurance on the field. We need mental and physical stamina to make it through the game. We mortify ourselves beforehand so that when things get tough during the game, we're not out there dizzy and exhausted. In our spiritual lives, we practice mortification to strengthen our wills against sin. Faith can be dark and difficult at times. Perhaps we need to mortify ourselves through the practice of patience, fasting, or giving alms. This is like when a coach makes a team run wind sprints at the end of practice. He doesn't make a team run wind sprints because he wants them to feel miserable. He does this in order to help them win a football game. The more wind sprints we run, the easier they become and the stronger we get. In football, one must have the ability to think clearly and react quickly. We cannot do this if we are out of shape. In our spiritual lives, practicing mortification helps us discern God's will. We are able to focus and put our hearts into what is good and holy because we have built up a pain tolerance. Mortification makes the difference between the player who is in shape and the player who is not. In the end, the player in shape will win the game. Until next time, keep the faith and fight the good fight.